Hi, my name is Naveen Babeja. I am the co-founder of Pure ADSSL One. Uh, it's a non-profit organization that is focused on an ultra-rare neuromuscular degenerative disease called ADSSL myopathy. Uh, we do have a website. It's called uh, cure-adssl1.org. Uh, my wife Priyanka and I founded this uh, this uh, nonprofit foundation with the goal of providing great patient advocacy for this disease and also pursuing various uh, therapeutic uh, options uh, because that's what the patients are waiting for. As a rare disease patient, you know they do not have any kind of uh, expectation that a big pharmaceutical company is going to pick, pick up this disease, and that's what uh, you know, our goal is to deliver. So adhesive cell wound myopathy is a, an ultra-rare condition. It has roughly 100 to 150 patients that are currently diagnosed all over the world. Uh, most of our patients are, are Asian origin. So we have patients from Japan, Korea, India, and a few patients from Indian origin that are spread all over the world. So for us, it has been a, always a goal that we, how do we connect the patients across the globe? And uh, it is not easy to do that. So we are the preclinical stage and we have the researchers across the globe uh, who are working on that. So we have researchers in Australia, we have a researcher in China, uh, one in UK, uh, and a few other researchers are here in the United States. So it's a global team that we have uh, pulled together. We are really passionate about working on this software condition. And uh, they are bringing in uh, their, their different expertise um, uh, to the team. And that's what really is driving the preparation problem. Uh, we still are looking for more research collaboration opportunities uh, with the researchers in India, and that's where you know here in this summit. We can... So far, what we have found is that the the, the most of the patients for this particular condition are in uh, South Korea. Uh, we do have uh, less than ten patients that are currently diagnosed in India, but we do believe that there is a a very big un undiagnosed population that is still there and uh, because it is an under underdiagnosed disease the, and, and it's also challenged by the fact that the first association of this disease with a genetic mutation was uh, done in, in 2016. So it's a, it's a, it's, there's not a whole lot of research that has gone in in this and, and uh, so we, we, we expect that we'll find more patients uh, and that's what we're trying to study. The symptoms for this disease are visible uh, even from early childhood, from a three to four year old. But the progression starts when the patients get to this, anywhere between the age of 13 and 25. That's the, that's the trend that we're seeing. Uh, but sooner you diagnose, the obviously the better it is because initially the symptoms are very mild uh, in the early childhood. And the diagnosis can be done at any stage. Even a newborn uh, can be diagnosed with a simple, you know, simple clinic test. So and that's what we hope for. That's what we uh, envision a future where most of these patients are actually diagnosed very early. Yeah, I think the, the since this disease shares many of the symptoms with many of the neuromuscular condition, the most effective diagnosis uh, step is the exome sequencing, through which we really get them from a clinic. Diagnosis. And that's what happened in our case as well. Both of our kids uh, who were not diagnosed for almost 15 years, then they got diagnosed uh, through the same sequence. Even though US grade is trying to do is to train different patient advocacy groups, different clinicians across, uh, across uh, two continents together. Uh, to really bridge that gap, and that's that's what is really compelling. And the other thing is, as we are looking forward, uh, when we get to the right treatment option or potential treatment option, we would want to conduct the clinical trial across the two countries um, yeah, to start with and we then cross it. And that's what um, we are sharing ideas here: how to go about that, what are the hurdles, how do we overcome those hurdles, and so. On.